How in the name of God have I produced so many God Roll videos on this channel and not once, not once, have I ever covered the Mindbender's ambition? To be honest, I thought I already had until multiple friends and uh, people in my Twitch chat reminded me that I am, in fact, a rube and have not yet made one. Well, that changes today. New year, new me, and we're here to talk about, hands down, no exaggeration, one of the best weapons in Destiny PvP to date the Mindbender's Ambition Shotgun. If you've played D2 Crucible for more than 15 minutes, odds are you've been gunned down by this beastly, lengthy, rune-covered monstrosity. In terms of hierarchy, the Mindbender's currently sits very comfortably in the S-tier category of PvP shotguns. Now I could sit here straight up blowing the gun for another few minutes, but I think y'all would rather get down to business and talk about why the Mindbender's is a certified Dream Crusher. Let's consult my personal list of what makes a shotgun good at one-shotting people in PvP, which, as a reminder, is in order. Number one, high impact. Number two, a good pellet spread. Number three, range. <sighs> And new to the list, number four, barrel length. The Mindbender hits number one right out of the park. It has a base impact of 80, hella impressive for a spread shotgun. And with that high impact, you'll be dropping people in PvP at crazy far ranges. I'd also like to point out that the Mindbender is a member of the aggressive frame family. And according to the in-game description on the Mindbender itself, after getting a kill with the weapon, your rate of fire will go up, granted not by a whole lot, but hey, every little bit matters, and being able to squeeze out an extra shot faster in PvP could be the difference between you living and dying. Finally, the Mindbender is great not only because of its base stats, but it has some solid roll options and a very small column 3 and 4, meaning it's more likely that you'll probably get the perks on the gun that you're looking for. Icing on the cake, it's not the worst gun in the world to farm for, and if this video is finished and published on the day that I'm hoping it will be, aka Monday, January 6th, you can farm for this weapon today by repeatedly grinding out the hollowed layer nightfall. I have a guide on how to farm this nightfall fairly quickly. Link in the top right corner right about now. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's talk about what we're looking for on the PvP Mindbender God Roll. It's important to know that the Mindbender does have a curated roll, which drops fairly frequently, and the curated roll is the only way to get opening shot, which is actually kind of nice. If you have the curated roll, great. Hold on to that one as a solid backup, but if you want to grind, you can get an even better roll. So what are we looking for? Column 1. Oh boy, barrel options. Time to do what I do best. Argue dumb BS on the internet. I'm talking, of course, about the age-old question, which shotgun barrel is best? Now, while range isn't as important on shotguns as, let's say, high impact, it still is nice to have because it does contribute to your overall weapon accuracy and landing shots in general. With that in mind, rifled barrel is always a good contender, even though it drops your handling by a very noticeable 15. If you have other perks on your gun that pump up handling, a 15 drop ain't so bad. Likewise, small bore has a 7 to range with no real downsides, which is fairly okay. And even though I've said this a trillion times on my channel, I will continue to repeat myself for new subscribers. <coughs> Please click subscribe. <coughs> Do not I repeat, do not pick smoothbore. Yes, I know, 15 range is very tempting, but it comes with the awful downside of having a wider pellet spread, which makes it harder to land one-hit kill shots in PvP because your whole goal is hitting as many pellets on your target as humanly possible. Imagine if I said, hey, I'll give you a free pizza for dinner, but I also peed over all of it. A necessary comparison? Probably not, but it's to help illustrate that the downside far outweighs the benefit, so pass over smoothbore hardcore and dunk on those foolish enough to use it. My pick is still full choke. Even after getting nerfed last year, it's IMO still the number one pick for PvP. Yeah, you don't get precision damage on your pellets, but precision damage on spread shotguns is so low, it essentially doesn't matter. You lose next to nothing and gain a better chance, it's important I use that word specifically, a better 
chance of landing more pellets on your target. It's not guaranteed that you're gonna land more pellets because shotguns are just tubes jam-packed with fucking bullshit. RNG by design, but it is a fairly good chance, so improve your odds of landing more pellets, forehead, and go for full choke. And with that, we move on to column two, magazine junk. Exciting. Seven options on the table here, and much like a $5 buffet, there are plenty of things here you definitely want to ignore, and only a few things you should really target. On the loser table, we have anything that affects magazine size, including a pended mag, tactical mag, and and extended mag. Big who cares to all three of those options, mag size is the least of our worries with a single shot slowish firing PVP shotgun. Next thing to avoid is steady rounds, which is kind of annoying because it's one of the perks on the curated Mindbender. If it just had a better perk right there in column two, I would be so much more thrilled about using the curated role. Steady Rounds cuts your range, which again, not huge, but it gives you a boost to stability, which the Mindbender absolutely does not care about at all. Gonna pass on that one, Chief. Finally, in the eh, it's all right category, we have Light Mag, a tiny boost to range and reload speed. Definitely not god tier, but not bad. In second place, we have Accurized Rounds, a big buff to range, which again, not mandatory, but always appreciated. The winner in my eyes, though, has got to be Assault Mag, because even though it grants no additional range and also has a big heaping pile of unnecessary, unhelpful stability, what it really brings to the table is an improvement to your Mindbender's rate of fire, something sorely appreciated by this relatively slow-firing beast. If you're within the ideal kill range and you're accurate, the Mindbender does all the work for you, meaning one of its only downfalls as a shotgun is being slow firing. Assault Mag is definitely here to help in that department. And remember, as I mentioned, you also get a rate of fire boost from aggressive frame. And yes, the two do stack together. Maximize your rate of fire and cut through your foes faster than a hot knife through butter. Moving right along to column three, only four perks here. Now, while that's unfortunate for those of you seeking variety, it's good for the rest of us out here who have one specific perk we might be chasing, and a one in four chance we'll get it on a drop. Pulse Monitor, I would say, is a pass. Auto reloading, while appreciated, isn't exactly what we're looking for, especially with the activation criteria being you getting your b-hole torn. No, thank you. Threat Detector, actually not a bad perk. The extra reload and stability is kinda eh, who cares for a shoddy, but having more handling is good for this weapon. Slide shot, also a totally acceptable option. Even though a lot of people dig it for the tiny boost to range, I like it more for its ability to reload your weapon when you slide. I know, I just teased Pulse Monitor for the same thing, but slide shot is something you actually have control over, and getting back bullets faster when you say so can be a lifesaver. But even though those two perks are good and you'd be happy to get them, I I gotta go with Snapshot for column three. I have a deep, borderline unbreakable and unhealthy love for shotguns that have the ability to ADS in the blink of an eye. It makes annihilating people so much easier. Not a flashy perk by any means, not tricky or fancy, but it gets the job done. Let's jump over to column four. Once again, only four choices here, so odds are you'll get something good. Starting on the options that I will personally pass on and Right up front, we have Auto Loading Holster. Again, it's not that I don't appreciate having my gun auto reloaded, hence my love for slide shot, but I think it works better for other things, i.e. fusion rifles, not to mention there's other perks here that we definitely rather have instead. It's not you, Auto Loading Holster, it's us. You'll find happiness with somebody else, believe me. Moving on, we come to Rampage. Now, it's not that we don't want extra damage on our gun after a kill. Who wouldn't want that? It's just that the Mindbender is already so absurdly powerful from a PvP perspective. It already blows through Guardians like dry paper. The benefits of Rampage, I feel, will hardly come into play in PvP on the regular, and for that reason, it's a pass. Now we come to the real decision on this gun. The two remaining choices in column four, quick draw and moving target. I'm telling you people right now, this is like asking folks which they like better, 
pancakes or waffles. What I'm really driving at, aside from guaranteeing an argument down in the comment section, is that there is no wrong answer. I love both of these perks. If you want a little extra help landing your shots, moving target is solid, especially for the folks out there who play on controller. If you're gonna put a gun to my head though, I'm gonna go with pancakes, or I mean quick draw. I gotta be honest with you, you don't know how badly you missed this perk on your mindbender until you use one that doesn't have it. The ability to instantly switch from your primary to your shoddy is god tier. It's the instant F you, get out of my face button. Especially in those situations where maybe you've already shot an enemy with your primary weapon and they're at that perfect distance where they're too far for a traditional one-shot kill from your shoddy, but if they already have some damage on them, the quick draw mindbender is the ideal finisher. I'm telling you people, it's absurd. But once again, if you like moving target, that's totally fine too. Masterwork time, what are we looking for? Eh, well, we could keep it simple and go with range. Again, not the most important thing on your shoddy, but still helpful and definitely more required than stability or reload. If your mindbender has moving target, you might actually appreciate a handling masterwork more since you're missing out on all that quick draw goodness. If you're gonna bust my balls about which weapon mod to put on this beast, and I know you're gonna, I'll make it simple for you. Do you like to jump with your shotgun? Icarus grip. Do you do most of your shoddying on the ground? Targeting adjuster. Boom. Done. Now, let's review. What is our god roll PvP Mindbender's Ambition Shotgun? Let's go from general to specific. Column 1, be happy with either rifled barrel or full choke. Column 2, be happy with accurized rounds or assault mag. Column 3, be happy with slide shot or snapshot. And column 4, be happy with moving target or quick draw. But if you really want my nitty gritty pick, the true god roll is full choke. Choke, assault mag, snapshot, quick draw with a range masterwork. Damn right. The combination of snapshot and quick draw will make yours the snappiest, quickest mind bender out there with the likelihood of landing more pellets and a faster firing speed. That is one lean, mean, guardian killing machine. I am really sad that my mindbender is only a four out of five roll. Damn you, light mag. Ah oh well, for the amount of time I put into grinding for this puppy, I am more than happy to have that roll. Anyway, check out my other video on how to farm for this gun quickly and keep your eyes peeled at what nightfalls are available each week. If you desperately want a better shotgun for PvP, look no further than the Mindbender's Ambition. If you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button as a way of saying thank you. It greatly helps me out and my channel, so I appreciate it a lot. Go ahead and click like if you found today's video helpful, and let me know down in the comment section what other God Roll videos you'd like to see in the future. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.